Now, Mary Rattray is best known for her work on states of fear and cardinal secrets, but she applied her journalistic prowess to so many more topics over the span of her career. And through almost all of her time in Mary in RTE, Mary worked very closely with Sheila Ahern. Well, Sheila joins me now in studio. And Sheila, you have put together a book of uh, Mary's columns from the Irish Times, due for launching tonight by Mary yep. Robinson, no yep. less. I'm absolutely delighted. I've been going through some of Mary's papers during the summer. She died last January. And um, I started reading the columns again and I got completely sucked in. And I'd read them at the time. They were uh, published every Thursday in the Irish Times. I'd read them at the time, but reading them together, suddenly I was kind of thinking, like, this could work really, really well as a book because it spanned a period which was what we look back on now as the boom times. And Mary was commenting on issues when you look at, uh, at the range in this. It's true, the range is incredible. Everything from Ratzinger on women to doctors to childcare. Even the Magdalens, yeah. like, I mean, all of these columns are so relevant still yeah. today. The dates on each column, you'll see here, like, you know, 2003, three, four, five, mm. and so on. But they could, many of them could have been written um, this week. I, I, I chose them particularly. There, there were a lot left out, and it's one of those difficulties. What do you leave in and what do you put out in any yeah. form of editing? Um, and I did want people to see the kind of range of issues that she dealt with. That it wasn't just... Exactly, institutional yeah. abuse. Sheila, you worked, I mean, you're a very close personal friend of Mary's. I mean, I remember the two of you here in RT. You worked, you worked on Car States of Fear together yeah. with Mary, yeah. very, very closely with her. Like, yeah. you were part of that production team. How, how did you work I together? Know, sometimes when people say team, I think, whoa, there were two, there were two. of us. <laughs> <laughs> and we were in an annex at the back 4T. It was like a, a prefab. Um, the programme came out of features rather than current affairs. So it was kind of, we did feel quite marginalised and sidelined. We were at the back, we did a tiny budget. When I think back, it's kind of remarkable how we did what we did, but I think that is down to the tenacity um, of Mary. She never let it lie, did she, Never Mary? let it lie. And, I mean, in, like, Mary was a great woman, but she wasn't always that easy to work with, was she? I mean, she was a tough producer. She was, and she, she had to be dealing with the kind of material she dealt with. She had to be tough. And you know the, the phrase, no stone left unturned? Well, in this case, it was like, no pebble left unturned yeah. um, she was never happy with it was like you know are we sure do we know this how do we know it do we you know how many sources do we have for this piece of information and that was so critical when you look at the the nature of a lot of the material she worked with um, and you look at difficulties broadcasters newspapers get into regularly the fact that she didn't she never got into those difficulties was down mm. to that level of tenacity detail, everything was absolutely factually correct. Yeah, an amazing journalist. Very briefly, you have also set up a journalism fund along with Mary's family to honour her memory and to fund investigative journalism today. When, when somebody dies, when anybody dies, there, there, there is an emptiness left and, and people do feel you know, they want to fill that. And friends and family of Mary got together and uh, the Mary Rafferty Journalism Fund has been set up and it's been supported up to now by the One Foundation. The first round has already happened um, and it's to support journalists who are doing work in the kind of areas that Mary was interested in. Um, it's really important. You can't do investigative reports from the desk, on the phone, through Google. You just can't do it. You need time. You need to get out there. You need to yeah, talk to and people. And it costs money. Yeah. Listen, Sheila, very best of luck with the Thanks launch so tonight and thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you.